Okay, and you can go ahead and start filming. So I'm Dr. Stuart Kerr, and I'm here at uh, Fairbanks Memorial Hospital with one of my favorite patients who, like myself, uh, sustained a ankle fracture dislocation on this right leg. I had mine several years ago, and for this patient, her leg was too swollen to safely do the repair. So sometimes with that type of a repair, we have to put a external fixer in place to allow the soft tissue swelling to resolve before we do definitive fixation of their repair. And what this patient has so generously and graciously offered is for me to do a little video so that other patients that have an external fixer on can look on my website and understand how we're gonna go about uh, doing pin site care because I've instructed her husband and a couple of her children that are adult children to help with this and they've done a wonderful job. So I want to share this with other patients so that they can likewise really help their loved ones to uh, remedy this condition. So as you can see, what I had, we have the pins that go into the bone and that's what will hold this in a, a good alignment until we're able to have the swelling go down enough to do the surgical repair. She's scheduled to have this done in a few days, but right now it's pretty swollen still because she's been in the waiting room during my busy clinic. So what I do is I remove all of these items. They've been doing this uh, uh, betadine cl cleansing, which I'll show you how to do, and they've been putting uh, the Xeroform on there and then putting uh, gauze around the pins. And I think at this point, things are clean enough to where we don't have to continue with the, uh, I usually use the zero form gauze, which was that yellow gauze for a few days. And then we just go to the betadine and sterile gauze. So what I do is I just, I clean right around these pin sites. And I usually like to use a betadine, sterile betadine swabs. And I just push the skin back away from the frame and the skin towards the center of the given limb. So I'm pushing the skin down away from this. And this is not something that's overly uncomfortable for people, but you know, it honestly might make some people a little bit uncomfortable with the idea of having this erector set external fixer on there. And I go all around every one of these pin kind of skin interfaces so that we don't have infection working its way in. So once we're done doing all of those and we're clean, we really want to clean all the pins. We're trying to push the skin towards the bone and clean the pin so it doesn't have any kind of like material that's building up on there. Okay. And then once that's done, we uh, have sterile gauze and we just have a few pieces of this and we kind of repack around that so that there's a nice little sterile gauze in there. And, and then we redress it with an ace wrap. So again, I just put the gauze on there, make a little cut halfway through and kind of push that down. And all these different sections. As long as you're using a nice clean technique, you, get up, you don't have to have sterile gloves on for this. You can just use a regular exam glove. And what I typically will do with my patients is I will send all of these uh, patients home when they're leaving the hospital, having received this instruction. And then I also like to send them home with a, with a little you know, patient belongings kind of goodie bag, if you will that has all of the supplies that they need to do this until they come back and see me in the office. And that way we can safely get these problems taken care of without developing any pin site infections that might compromise their health. So there you have it. I got one more to do and then we're gonna put an ACE wrap over top of this. Sometimes I have to put a little piece of tape to hold these in place so they're not coming off. Just a little, little piece of tape. So we pad this and now at this point we'll put a little piece of tape to hold these in place. It doesn't always need it but sometimes I will. There 
it's just to, again to hold that against the skin so it's not coming off while I put the ace bandage back on. And then once all of this uh, swelling goes down, I'm gonna send her, have her go back home and just really work on elevation. And then we can get her surgery definitively taken care of by removing the external fixator and, uh, and putting in the internal fixation to restore the ankle alignment perfectly um, for her upcoming surgery uh, so that we can get her rehab going. So once we're done with this, I like to, you know, basically just cover this up and that helps it from avoiding getting snagged on different things and helps cover up all this pin site area as well until we see her back. So we'll do couple of the ace wraps. If you have six ace, inch ace wraps, I think that works a little bit better, but I think we're running low on those up here in Alaska today. So she gets a couple of these four inch ones to cover this well. And I really thank you again for allowing us to share this with some of our viewers. Again, this is anonymous, so it doesn't have any patient information on there, but it just allows us to share this so that other people can look at this video and understand how it is that we go about uh, taking care of these sorts of problems. Okay, and since we're in Alaska, these little happy guys get a little, a little toe cap to keep the toes warm. So that's all there is to it, and uh, thank you very much.